Hi everyone, my name is Kate. Welcome to my channel. Test quiz FX for Instagram became so popular. Like, what Disney character are you? What Shrek character are you? They can be silly sometimes, but it's still a lot of fun. I think you all guys see some of them. So in today's lesson, I'm gonna show you how to do the same. I decided to make a test prediction. A user asks a question like, should I go to school today, for example, and the test answers. So uh, the first step was to prepare the images, the answers. I did eight, but there is no limit. If you need to create uh, 10, 20 characters, for example, you can do it. Um, and I uh, have created this uh, another cloud with a question. So I want it to appear when a user chooses my effect and then disappear. Remember that your image should be in a PNG format, so that the background is transparent. All right, so uh, let's go to our Spark uh, and create a new project. The next step is to add a face tracker and a face mesh. Okay, so what I'd like to do is uh, I'd like to add a new material and add retouching. Well, retouching. Okay. All right. So next step is null object and a plain object for this null object. All right. But right now, my plain object and my null object, they don't move with uh, a user's uh, with the user's head. So I need to put the null object on my face tracker. Okay, the next step is to move my plain object. Okay, let's check. All right, good. But I think it's too short, so I want to uh, change its size. So to do it, we can either go to the inspector panel here or use this uh, buttons, buttons. So I'd rather use them just like this. Okay, nice, love it. So the next step is to select my plan object and create a new material. Let's rename it to test. Okay. A flat. And I need to, to go to the assets panel and add a new asset, which is animation sequence. And now I need to choose a texture. So I simply select all my clouds from one to eight besides this one. Okay, now I click on randomize and I correct the frames per second. Okay, let's go back to our material test and select our animation sequence as a texture. As you might see, our animation works. But, of course, we don't want it to work like this. <laughs> um, so, to add some logic, we need patch editor. View patch editor. Okay, so the first patch I will use is runtime. If you are blind, just like me, and you just can't see uh, your patches, <laughs> push the control button and use your mouse to zoom in and out. And the next patch is offset. 
So the offset patch has value and the first value is the base value. I mean the first value he gets. And if I click on re restart, we see that the, the base value is zero because the runtime uh, starts from zero. Uh, all the next values are current values. And this patch compares current value and the base value and represents the offset of the current value from the base value. The next patch is equals. Okay, so this patch checks if two numbers are equal within the tolerance. So here's the tolerance. This is the current value that he gets from the offset patch. And we need to correct this number. I select five seconds and three seconds tolerance. So it means that uh, my animation, I, I will add animations patch later, but whatever is here, it starts from two seconds, five minus three, and lasts um, up to eight seconds, five plus three. And that's okay for me, because in most cases, user opens his gallery, select the icon of your effect, and start recording uh, within one, two seconds. Pay your attention that the counter starts when uh, a user chooses your effect, not when he starts recording, starts filming. And now I need to add patches for my animation. So first of all, loop animation. Duration is something really small. Okay, then I take the looped output and create another patch. And this patch has a start value and end value. So I need to correct the end value to 8 because I have 8, maybe 7. Yeah, I have 7 pictures, right? Next, the patch, the floor patch. So this patch uh, rounds numbers. And why do we need it? Because if we don't round the number of a picture, we may get something like 7.2. So we will see the seventh picture and a piece of the next one. That's why we need four. And Finally, we can go to our animation sequence and create a patch from current frame. Alright, just connect them, reset, restart. Yes, yes, it works. But I'd like to add a question cloud. So I just, no, I want to duplicate this plain object and then I'd like to add a different material okay flat since I've duplicated this plain object its size is the same and I just need to choose my texture new texture and here is my question cloud. Yay! Okay, so right now I see only my question cloud. But of course I want to see it only before my test. So before I start recording. How to do it? Let's select our camera and create a patch. Oh, just need to drag and drop the camera to create a patch from it. And here we have the video recording output. I take my Q patch, create a patch from visible, add another patch, not, and connect them. Video recording, 
not visible. When I'm recording, I don't see this plain object. But I still want to see this one. So I create another patch, plain object, video recording, and this plain object should be visible. So I need to save the project, upload it to Spark AR Hub, and then test it. And that's what we got! Will I get 1000 subscribers on YouTube? Okay, once again, will I get 1000 subscribers on YouTube? Yay! <laughs> Don't forget to like this video, subscribe and leave a comment. Love you all. See you soon.